Alright, you guys know I'm not really a fan of romantic movies, so let's just make this review very, very quick, and then we can just get on to the good stuff, you know? By good stuff, I mean other movies I could review. So, welcome back to Amy's Movie Review, and today we're talking about If the Shoe Fits, a movie starring Jennifer Grey and Rob Lowe. And yes, it's a romantic movie, but it's also like a Cinderella movie, but not really. I don't really know how to explain it. Basically, when she puts on shoes, it's like she gets like a split personality... It was very, very underwhelming to watch, or overwhelming. I don't know what the right proper term is for this movie. But basically, Jennifer Grey's character wants to be a fashion designer, and Rob Lowe's character... Bro, I don't even know. I, I could not even with Rob Lowe's character. I was like, who is this man? Why? Hey! Uh. And also, Jennifer Grey's character... Her, her, fr her friend is French. I th there I think they're in France. I, I don't I don't know why um that's a good choice. I don't I don't really know. Man, it was such a I couldn't really grasp into the movie. You know, it didn't really seem to interest me and um to be honest, I mean, you can guys can go watch it for yourselves. It's on Tubi if you want. But uh I just don't really think this was my kind of movie cuz I'm not really a big fan of romantic movies as you guys already know. I'm a big fan of like action or horror or even comedy, but Romantic? I mean, sometimes, yeah, but all the time, not really. If it's done over and over and over again, I'm not really going to enjoy it that much. Like, it's another reason why I didn't like Lake House or, uh... I don't think I reviewed any more rom-com movies except for and that, that Christmas one with Rob Lowe where they were in the wild. I don't know about that, that one. I don't want to talk about that one. That one is hard to explain. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. 98.3% of you watch my videos but aren't unfortunately subscribed and well that's just a big no-no but we can fix that problem right away by hitting that button that says subscribe and then you know hitting that bell that says uh, that so you can get notified for any videos I make. Um, I want to say very quickly that a new archive series is in fact coming. Um, it's not what you think though. I was thinking really really hard about what this archive series should be and after thinking about it I've decided that the next archive series is about grunge stuff like grunge bands basically like Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Nirvana, basically all of that because originally I wanted to just do a Nirvana archive series but then I realized I could just do all of them in one as the grunge archive series so that's coming out after the Keanu archive and um, I hope you guys will enjoy the first episode which will be about Pearl Jam and hopefully if you guys like that there will be more just just throwing it out there if you guys do like it there will in fact be more if I look for footage and who knows maybe one day the William Zapka archive series will come back I don't know that's up to you guys as well you comment down below would well, you guys are you guys excited for a uh, grunge series? Do you want the Zapka series to come back? Um, the TV show review series is coming back. I just, I just need time, okay? I just, I just need some time, basically, to put into terms. So, um, yeah, I'll see you on the Keanu Archive.